My name is Asya Gerards. I'm a live event and entertainment management major here at STHM. I'm here today with host Solomon Rautman, founder and CEO of Diverse Force and P4 Hub for an STHM industry spotlight. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we have a few questions to get started. The first one is, if you wouldn't mind bringing us quickly into one of your last executive team meetings. Well, great question and uh, nice to meet you, Asi. And um, yeah, so with Diverse Force, um, we typically meet with our executive team and there's generally four areas we're generally talking about. One is strategy, you know, are we on the right path? You know, what are some strategic things? Um, two is people, you know, just making sure operationally we have the right people in the right places and, you know, have capacity to do the work that we need to do. Also around just execution, you know, thinking about what's, we have a task management system that we manage, so just making sure who's behind, uh, who's on pace and making sure we're executing on, on expectation. And then also uh, another conversation I have with our finance, our CFO, and our operations person is cash. You know, making sure that we have enough cash in the bank for payroll and other things we want to do as well. So those are a lot of constraints. Generally, uh, business is business. You, you're constantly dealing with different, different things, but those are the four areas we're generally talking about. So the next question is, what do you consider to be the top three competencies that today's college graduates should possess to succeed in careers in addition to their academic preparations? Yeah, great question. I consider them power skills, right? You call, some people call them soft skills, but I call them power skills, which um, one is communication, you know, just being able to communicate the virtues of a good idea or a product or service, you know, really being like able Critical thinking skills. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, and yeah. how to communicate those things. Two is emotional intelligence, you know, being able to just be able to, one, have a level of self-awareness of your emotions and channeling those in a, in a productive way as well. And then three is um, learning to learn. I talked about that earlier. Um, you know, we're in a society where the shelf life of skills are going to be shorter and shorter, um, you know, some of those hard skills, but learning how to learn new skills are going to be critical and being a lifelong learner, so yeah, uh, a lot of what you can learn here in college. The third question is, what is your best piece of advice for our seniors as they prepare to step into positions of leadership? Yeah, I would say one is, um, is it's a contact sport, you're networking, you know, having relationships and contacts. So, you know, any opportunities to, to connect with folks, you know, leverage the fact that you are still young and, and getting advice from people. Uh, people tend to want to give and help the next generation, so leveraging that and and making those relationships as well. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciated all of it. Your presentation this morning was incredible and really inspiring, so thank awesome. you. Thank you so much. So good meeting with you. <laughs>